Yay, take us in, Jackson. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the official podcast, episode 242. We've got some exciting news over in uh, Charlie's realm. He just saw Space Jam. This is hot off the press. Andrew wants the entire movie to be spoiled for him right now because he hasn't seen it. <laughs> so go ahead. Is that a real fact, Andrew? Do you want the spoilers? Oh, I don't care. I'm just waiting to watch really? it with some friends. So it I haven't watched it fucking sucks. Yet. Oh, it's I'm terrible. well aware. Oh, I didn't yeah. ever Spoiler expect alerts. it to be good. <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely awful. It is yeah. so fucking trash. That's why I'm excited to see it. Yeah, was anyone actually expecting it to be good? Like, did you go in kind of no. hopeful that it was going to be good? I thought it would at least be, like, enjoyable, but it's not. There is so little to like about the movie, it's nuts. Like, it, obviously it was just going to be a cash grab from the get-go. I don't yeah. think anyone expected anything else. But I would have at least expected fun. But there's none of that. <laughs> Warner Brothers does the worst cash grabs, though. Like, their cra cash grabs are the worst in the industry. So. Oh, they're so bad. From yeah. what I've heard, it's nothing but a nonstop cavalcade of, hey, check out this other Warner Brothers property. Yep, it is reference, mm -hmm. reference, 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 reference. It's oh, I'm so excited. It's so, rough. Um, it sounds like the worst parts of, like, Ready Player One dialed up to 100, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds Fuck, so yeah. painful. Oh, man, I did see a, a, I did see a clip on Twitter of um, Rick and Morty showing up. Does that happen? Or was yeah. that like a fan <laughs> It does. Fuck, no, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, man. Oh. It is, oh my god and it's so insultingly long it's two hours so you spend the first hour going through this journey of references and then the next hour is the entire basketball match which is just more <laughs> references oh it's oh, so bad fuck yeah dude yeah it's rough so yeah. were there any redeeming qualities of this for andrew to look forward to i don't think so I, I i just feel like there's so little to like about the movie if you like lebron james he's in every single scene for the entire movie well it's so. not that i'm looking forward to it being good i mean the first space jam is also bad like space yeah. jam has never been good space jam is just fun as a concept like it, it's it's dumb it's silly and goofy and stupid and i will say actually the first movie's music is very good but i mean yeah, it's all licensed it's, it's, tracks this doesn't have any like special music. Uh, does it ha at least have like a new theme song? No, there's no new oh. Space Jam song. I what the fuck? I, that was the best part of the first movie. I, I heard that they didn't even bring back the theme song from the first one. Oh my no, god, the, the, the fucking the fucking come on and slam and welcome to the jam. That's like the best part of the whole movie. Yeah, which is how why it's not here. How can God they get the rise to like cool every every pop culture <laughs> thing in the last twenty years? <laughs> they couldn't get that. Oh, <laughs> that's actually disappointing. That was the one thing about the first movie that was good. It had catchy tunes written for it, but not yeah. not even that. Fuck, that sucks. That actually well, sucks. The, the first one had like actual effort and passion put into it. I, I haven't seen it in a long time, but yeah, I can is still that rose remember some of the glasses. I feel like. That's very no, but it was still. To some yeah, it it was still nostalgia. like at least it captured a lot of the fun of the '90s. Like it has Bill Murray come in. It has the very catchy songs that get everyone hyped with spa the "Welcome to the Jam" shit like that. Like it, it had a lot going for it. This is just completely effortless on every level. Do you think if you were a child currently, let's say under the age of twelve, this would be a good movie for you? Would you be excited? I don't that's what I, I don't was think wondering. kids would even care about it. Yeah, no, that's I, what I, I think, was wondering. I think I Rick and Morty would, would show up immediately and they'd piss their pants. That would be their movie of the year. They'd be so excited. They would. Yeah, I don't think I a lot of kids would watch like that. Yeah. Kids I feel like, like everything. it's pretty hard. It's a very low effort to entertain kids. Pretty hard to kids. disappoint kids. But the, but the thing is, the references are so dated that if it's for kids, which is what I talked about in the moist meter a little bit, I can't imagine a kid going here and being like, oh, that's so, that's so good. Like, they reference fucking Austin Powers. There's a scene where they go back to Austin Powers. <laughs> mm. Like, what kid is going to be like, oh, Austin Powers, yee! That's the coolest kid ever. <laughs> that's, Fuck yeah. That's the kind of kid I want to hang around. That's awesome. What is Austin the most Powers. modern reference, I guess? What, like, how many references were in there that kids would get? Well, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, yeah, so the only yeah the only modern references I even noticed because no kids are watching Looney Tunes a in the yeah. b the only modern ones were Rick and Morty and Big Chungus. 
That's it. Oh, okay. Charlie, does someone yeah. floss in the movie? No, there is. <laughs> Damn, no, like I, I said, really thought someone would. Ooh. No, there. Like I said, it really feels super dated. Like it's not a movie. It doesn't feel like a movie for kids. It's like a movie for adults with the mind of a kid. Like they've had all the experiences of adults, but their mind hasn't changed since they were a kid. Okay, that's called a like, man child, and like, that's the main audience then. They nailed it. Yeah, that it yeah. doesn't feel like it's for kids. It so really is it doesn't. is it basically just a movie for people who watched the first movie? Then yeah, that's kind okay. of more what it feels like. Okay, I definitely would watch the first this shit people, show. Then what? the people who watched the first movie sound like they're going to hate it as well because it's just yeah, because it's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not good. <laughs> well, remember Jackson. Jackson, remember the first movie is also not good. It's not like people are no, looking no. forward to the second movie, going, "Oh, it's going to be amazing." It's like. You know, you go to it based on premise. You go, okay, animated Looney Tunes fucking around with LeBron James. What's going to happen? People who only like the first yeah. one because the music was good and they wanted to fuck Lola Bunny. Yeah, the the first one was good because purely like it was an interesting concept and it's like, oh, Looney Tunes fucking around with Michael Jordan. What's going to happen? And the music was genuinely good. And you had cameos from other basketball players like uh, Charles Barkley is in it and he's a good part because he is a horrendously terrible actor. <laughs> um, and then like like Charlie said, there's cameos from like other comedians like Bill Murray's in it. Um, what's his name? He plays Newman on Seinfeld and he's in Jurassic Park. He's in it. Oh, Nedry. Yeah, yeah, he's in it. Like, like that's why the first Space Jam is fun. It's an event. It's not a good movie, but there's a lot that happens. Yeah. But, like, and that's what I hope is in the second movie, at least, where it's like it's terrible, but there's at least a lot going on. You yeah, know? Like, don't stuff expect that you can any, love it. Don't yeah. expect anything like that, Andrew, because it, it's not like that. There is, <laughs> okay. Le, like, I, like I said, LeBron James is 99% of every single scene in this yeah. entire movie. And then what, Don does he Cheadle, actually interact with the references, or are they just in the background? No, absolutely just in the background. He, oh like, he dresses up, like, they reference the Matrix, and he dresses up like a Matrix character for, like, 20 seconds. That's Fuck about it. yeah. Oh. But <laughs> this is there's great. No, there is a couple cameos, like, um, Don Cheadle, well, Don Cheadle's the main villain, he seems like he's having fun, so I can't be mad at him. Shit villain, but at least he's having a good time. But then when they have other cameos, it is split second. Like, actual split <laughs> second. Like, they have the guy from The Walking Dead. I'm blanking on his name. Steven, Steven something. He's in there for one two-minute scene, maybe. And then they have, I think, Sarah Silverman for another, like, the same scene. So, like, Ew. two minutes. And then that's basically it, wow. I think. Is there anything from the uh, Game of Thrones in there? Yeah, does George R. Martin show reference. up? Is he attached to this project in any way? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, the Iron Throne is there for a second. What's the uh, stupidest, wow, worst this cameo? Sounds so cool. What's the absolutely dumbest cameo? Um, <laughs> you can't even pick. <laughs> yeah, I, I There's guess so many. Uh, the most uncomfortable one is when they bring in the other athletes for one scene. So, like, the kid is scanning athletes into his video game he's making, and so he's interacting with, like, Anthony Davis and all of them, and they have absolutely no acting ability whatsoever, yeah. so it's super weird. So, like, one of them grabs the kid by the shoulders, and he's like, hey, kid, you know what time it is, right? Game time! And then, like, backs away. It's just kind of weird. <laughs> it's, not, it's not, like... That was, that was like, know. the first movie, too. I fucking yeah. love those parts. Yeah, but this well, is really, really like weird. It. I don't know. Well, yeah, may, my, one might. of my favorite scenes is in the first Space Jam when Charles Barkley's walking down the street and he sees some kids playing basketball outside and Charles Barkley just like approaches them like a creepy deformed stalker <laughs> and he's like, hey, can I play two? <laughs> it's like, it's great. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> it's a shame that this concept hasn't been done well since like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That was like the first and last uh, good like implementation well, who framed of Roger Rabbit had a ton of work put into it a an absurd amount yeah, so of they effort they should and all time. have that kind of work put into it otherwise we yeah. end up with this shit yeah you, well you would think it would be even easier to make it good because of modern CGI today if yeah. I mean Charlie so I have not seen the movie but I've kind of surmised it from the trailer it's 2D animated at first and then becomes 3D right yeah so you would think that if the movie's mostly 3D animated, they could make an even easier good movie because 3D animation is on the whole much quicker and easier than 2D. Yeah, you would expect that. Yeah. They didn't care about making a good movie, though. I think that much is clear. That's true. 
They just they it's it a cash grab movie. movie. It's a cash <laughs> tie and I, grab I just don't movie. even I, I don't even see how it was like supposed to work though. No one wanted it. And what they got is even worse than they expected. So I really don't know how it's going to be a, like, a successful movie. Do you think so? You think this is going to be a box office flop? I absolutely think it's going to be a flop. Like I cannot imagine. Like I, I just can't imagine a kid wanting to see this. It, like what kid gets excited about fucking Looney Tunes, man? Maybe it's placed like, pretty well. Is there anything else at the mo- out at the moment? Is it like school I, holidays I, for I, kids or something? I don't know. Well, it's summer vacation, but I'm wondering if there's any other movies out right now that a kid might choose over this. I mean, you they definitely it. choose Fast and Furious. Oh, yeah, true. Well, keep in, you yeah. keep in mind, it's also direct-to-streaming movie. You can watch it on HBO oh, Max. Oh, true. Yeah, uh, that's, I was, yeah. that's how I I was going to ask... Oh, okay, so you didn't go to the movie theaters. Okay. No, 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 no. So, okay. according to Wikipedia, it had a budget of $150 million and so far has made $30 million. <laughs> That's... Okay, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, wait, it's, it's oh, oh, yeah. G- yeah, fucking Black Widow came out this week. They're absolutely going to pick that. That's Marvel. Oh, oh, they would absolutely go Black Widow over this. Yeah. True. Yeah. Was Black Widow any good? Uh, it was okay. It was kind of a meaningless movie, though. To, like, there was absolutely no reason it should have come out. To all the children out there in, like, in our audience, which movie would you recommend they go <laughs> see? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Black Widow has already made a profit. <laughs> Oh, of course yeah. it has. Oh, yeah. I'm not Mar- surprised Marvel, at all. Marvel is always profitable, and it yeah, always they, will be. They can't lose. I, I want to see the day when a Marvel movie goes back to being like the uh, the first Incredible Hulk, that wow. really fucking bad one, where it, it's just a you know it just sucks, and people well, we already reached that moment. Ant Man and the Wasp. No, Space that was still a success, two. right? Yeah. Didn't the, didn't the... Space Jam Two is two hours long. Oof. Yeah, that's what I said. That's long for a fucking kids movie. It's long for any movie. It's way too fucking long. Like I said, you spend an hour on a basketball game that is just references. It sucks. Maybe they <laughs> did think sucks. it was good. Maybe they were going for an Oscar nom. They were aiming for the top for this one. God. I also still maintain, I think, from what I remember, the worst Marvel movie I saw was Thor Dark World. I think it was called. Oh, yeah. It was miserable. Yeah, most people... Most people agree that that's one of the worst. It tried to be so dark and gritty, for no reason. Yeah, and then they realized that was so that was really bad, and that like almost killed Thor's character in the MCU. So they made Thor Ragnarok, which was one of the best. Wait, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. a complete yeah. one eighty from sweet. the previous film. Yeah. Like, it, it's like somebody medicated the depression out of the movie. <laughs> It was so I'm, good. It was so good, though. It was like the best. It was, MCU yeah. it was pretty fun. It was I'm really so, good. I'm so glad we brought up superhero movies because also a little less than a week ago, I told Charlie about this. I watched the Snyder cut. It's oh, yeah. it's fucking incredible. I told it, you it's good. it was fucking enthralling from start to finish. I almost watched all four hours in one sitting. I fucking it, what, loved what, it. What didn't, didn't you talk about this last week saying that you only like nothing changed in the first hour? yeah in like the first hour like it felt kind of the same but then as it got into it it was like way way different and i really liked it a lot like the first hour is kind of like yeah this is better i'm glad they added this scene etc but i was kind of like yeah it's you know it's fine but then once the plot picks up and gets moving it's like really really good i really liked it what was the basically movie? from the Flash's first scene until the end of the movie? I think is very good. I agree. Yeah. Hmm. So, I just wanted to work that in there because a lot of people were asking what I thought about it, and I finally watched it. I just you need to be more timely with these things, Andrew. It <laughs> yeah. was like four months ago. Now. Oh, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I take my time on things. I indulge them. I really Soak them in. You- I thought you of all people would have watched um, the, the movie we're talking about, Space Jam, immediately. Like I have friends who want to watch it, so we planned for Tuesday. Well, that was you the earliest before we the podcast it. episode, so we could have heard your input. Yeah, I should have brought that up, guys. I got a, I got a fucking boring <laughs> podcast to record about me talking about movies. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> what a franchise would you guys just love to kill? Oh, Minions for me. Minions isn't even... what They don't do anything anymore. They're By just the way, like... This was a, it, um, yeah, but they're, 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 they're still literally up, before everywhere. Before I'm of plagiarism, this was actually one of the questions somebody sent us on Patreon by Darman. Ah. 
who said, if you guys could choose one game oh. franchise to kill off, what would it be? But I want to expand this to <laughs> He's games. He's trying and... to get content for his YouTube channel. <laughs> From us. Yeah, the video is going to be these guys try to kill a franchise, <laughs> but the unexpected happens. So you see, they <laughs> didn't. I don't know. Um, yeah, so <laughs> game franchise, twist. movie franchise, what would you guys uh, kill? Charlie said minions. Oh, man. Minions is a dog shit answer. They don't do anything. You're not killing anything that's like even relevant anymore, really. Yeah. I don't know where you are getting that from. Minions is still one of the most popular franchises. What have they brought the out? Moment. There hasn't been a, a Minions movie. It's just like references from like 2016. I, I don't remember any movies coming out recently with Minions in it. A Minion movie came out this year, Jackson. All oh, right. Well, never mind. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Like they are quite literally pumping this shit out all the time. I don't know what you're talking Is about. Is it that pervasive, There's... though? Do you still hear about Minions? I don't even hear, like, the memes about Minions anymore. It's, like, dead to me. Yeah, me neither. I don't see it online uh, at all. I still see it pretty often. I just really don't like it. I think that shit sucks. And I have a grudge against the Minions because I got a copyright strike on my channel, like, five <laughs> years ago from the Minions because yeah, I made a fun of them. Thing. This is just a grudge <laughs> yeah, thing. This is personal. It's, it's more just I hate them for that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel weird about killing a f like property or franchise that people enjoy. Like it doesn't matter to me. I'm pretty good at just ignoring things that I don't like. Same. Oh, I don't that, really oh, that is that is some dog shit. No, I'll give a real answer, Jackson. Yeah, no, I will. I'll, I'll think of something. I just need to think for a bit. I need to think too. Nothing well, Jackson, really... maybe maybe instead of having a hard think about it, you need to take a nap, take sleep on it, rest mm, on it, sleep on it. Yeah. yeah. If you're giving me permission to go to bed, I will. <laughs> well, you can, but only, only Jackson, if you answer this lightning round question, what <gasps> mattress are you going to be sleeping on for that? Oh, nap? you bet your ass I'm sleeping on a Helix mattress, Andrew. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a really hard question quiz right there. You like how I worked in that quiz show because I did it for a specific reason. Helix has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and will match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Everyone is unique and Helix knows that. They've got soft, medium, and firm mattresses as well as mattresses for larger people and people who tend to sleep hot and want to be cooled down. If you're looking for a mattress, just take the quiz, order the mattress that you're matched to, and it will come right to your door shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to the mattress store again. I mean, I, I love taking little fucking, like, I don't know, I love investigating stuff, going, hmm, I wonder, what, what, what is this? What would this apply? How would this apply to me? So I'm down to take a quiz, find out how I would sleep on it. I'm fine with that. I'm also down to go to helixsleep.com slash official to take that quiz. Because if I go there, not only will I get a 10-year warranty, and I get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free, but I'll get $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows. If you go to helixsleep.com slash official, just a two minute quiz to find the perfect mattress and just one link to get $200 off and two free pillows. That's helixsleep.com slash official. Nice. Thank you. Kai, did the question have to be movie franchises? Because I thought of a better answer. Uh, they also said games. Well, they originally said games. Uh, kill Kill Minecraft just to see the fuck. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Oh, you man. lunatic. Damn. What is now you're going you to sick? imagine? Fuck. They're not hurting me. Could you imagine? Holy shit, you want to ruin the world. You would that cause would like actually... worldwide suicide. That is crazy. You're a yeah, sick. That fuck. would be like actual like purge shit right yeah. there. You just want chaos. chaos. You just want to hurt people. For no reason. You just want to see yeah, the world burn. God. Could you imagine? That's like a real super villain plot. Imagine a hacker deleting Minecraft. Get, yeah, just gets in and like deletes Minecraft forever. Oh, that would be so, it. Would be a crazy social experiment. Think yeah. of the YouTube video that we could make out of that. Well, what about Fortnite then? I mean, same thing, really. Nah. Fortnite does, that doesn't have that same level yeah, anymore. People no, dedicate no. their whole lives to Minecraft now. Like even yeah. just as a fan of Minecraft really? like, players, like it's huge. Yeah, You'd be taking out an entire, like, it's it's its own entertainment industry, basically. You'd be taking out a, yeah. an entire industry. That is crazy. Yeah. You'd, think of the job displacement. Of what, we, <laughs> what we do. When <laughs> is, is Minecraft the highest grossing game in the world now? Or is it still Grand Theft Auto? 
uh, I mean, if you count like the earnings of every Minecraft Tetris, streamer and YouTuber, probably. Yeah. Mm. No, I think Tetris is still like the best selling um, game franchise, right? Well, it, no, Tetris might be the best selling, but highest grossing is different because they have DLC oh, and all that shit and yeah, merchandise. Merch, yeah, merch would be crazy yeah. with Minecraft for sure. There's no Tetris merch as far as I know. <laughs> You yeah, exactly. get like an L block Tetris plushie. Yeah. Well, you should be able <laughs> According to, to the list of best selling video games on Wikipedia, though, Minecraft is number one above Grand Theft Auto and Tetris. Mm. There you uh, go. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Good for Notch. Yeah. If there's one man that deserves it. Holy shit. Notch. Charlie, don't don't forget to oversell this. It's best selling by a factor of one and a half over Grand Theft Auto. It's got yeah. 200 million sales, and GTA has 145 million. That's crazy. And Charlie Good Lord. wants to hurt those 200 million children. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong can with you? you? I'm just saying, can you imagine <laughs> if you could delete Minecraft, what would happen? There, there is some, poor, would shut down. some very poor little like hyper-autistic kid whose only connection to life is like Minecraft, his only joy in the world, and Charlie wants to rip it out of his hands. Yeah. <laughs> his I'm not face. saying I want to, I'm saying <laughs> as a my, fucking super villain to, plot. He wants to watch and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a so social it's experiment. It's a right? sick experiment to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see where the world would be with no Minecraft. Where do you think the world would be without Minecraft? Do you think we'd be in a healthy position? A healthier position? I have no idea. Like, for a lot of people, I feel like like the obsession on Minecraft has been a negative effect on their life. But then for a lot of others, I feel like Minecraft has been an extremely positive tool. So I, I, it, it'd be like this weird limbo. I, I have no idea where we'd be without Minecraft. Charlie's like, I want to ban sugar for all children. No more joy. And chocolate, <laughs> I'm fine, too. I'm fine with that one. <laughs> I'm fine with that one. Yeah, that would I be know. I, I'm, I'm speaking in yeah. terms of just, like, banning stuff they enjoy. No more bouncy castles. Yeah. <laughs> no more cartoons. I'm banning <laughs> recess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I genuinely cannot think of anything. I was I, I I I know what I want. I want to get rid of big, big mouth. Get rid of it. Oh, oh yeah, huge! Good yeah, yeah. choice. Mm-hmm. Very good yeah, choice. Right. That's oh, but that's option. like a cop out. That's an easy answer. I mean, then okay, I want to yeah, ban no, cuties. What, what, we can't all choose Minecraft. I guess. No, I don't, I don't want to get rid of Minecraft at all. I like Minecraft. I do too. All right, well, all right. Actually, no, we can, Charlie. We can ruin children's lives. You take Minecraft. I'll take Roblox. We delete They're everything. Oh, they have nowhere to go. Oh. I, oh, I take fuck. Fortnite. <laughs> Oh yes! Shit! Um, uh, 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 uh. What's the last one, Andrew? Oh uh, god, yeah, what is the other uh, one? The my mind wants to say Pokemon, but kids don't care about Pokemon anymore. It's all TikTok, fucking TikTok, adults. TikTok, TikTok, please. Uh, oh, TikTok! Ooh. Ooh, well, TikTok, TikTok isn't a franchise, franchise. it's a platform. Yeah. Well, still, oh, good enough. Uh, what do kids Get like? Get rid of Attaway General. Ch- children love that, right? God, I don't know. Five Nights at Freddy's? Kids still play. I don't know. No, Five I, Nights. I also don't uh, know. No. Wait, no. Five Nights at Freddy was supposed to be a good answer, actually. Children do it's love that. It's not bad, but I don't want to get rid of it. It's Why? neat. <laughs> but okay, this but neat. at this point, the question is true. I talked about this on the podcast. The Five Nights lore is fucking insane. It's crazy. Well, all right. Tell me in the lore. I've always heard that Five Nights so at Freddy's lore is cool. I talked about it on the show earlier, but I used to think Five Nights was just like, yeah, there's, you know, three or four games, and then he pumps out like a spin-off one that's the same no man there's like there's like seven books or some shit jesus and like there's entire spin-offs that are in different mediums and like that doesn't that doesn't mean the law is good though minecraft also oh, has i hundreds don't of books. i don't care if okay, it's good i is... just admire that he's trying to make like a whole plot to it rather than just jump scare game jump scare game well you he, know? Retired he actually quit now. recently from yeah. what I, yeah yeah but uh okay yeah, so so he got uh he got wanna... canceled in a way eh, oh, he took really? it very For gracefully what? Nothing. So people, <laughs> That's why he quit. People realize that he's a Republican, and that was literally it. And then he made this long post on uh, Reddit saying, okay, you know what? I am a Republican. I'm pro-life. Uh, if you guys don't want me anymore, fair enough. I'm just going to go retire with my wife and children and my happy wealth. <laughs> he basically said this game isn't fucking worth the hassle. And he just fucked off, I think. He should have just, he should have deleted the franchise then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be big. That would have been funny. But uh, so without the long, I'm removing all the games from Steam. That would have been such a <laughs> power move. Uh, no, then you're just punishing the God. players. They didn't do anything wrong. 
to be fair. True. Um, I get. I guess I want to say League of Legends. No kids play that. Kids Literally love League no, of Legends. No yeah. kids play League. What? They should. It'd be a death yeah. sentence. No way. No kids play that. be bullied into suicide within like three days. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No kids play League. Mm. Ooh, Among Us. That's a good one. I don't okay. think kids play that anymore. No, they do. They definitely yeah, they do. do. Yeah. I okay. I'll take Among Us. I'll rem- I'll get rid of Among Us. That's fine. All right. Cool. We're done. Yeah. Children's lives are ruined. Thank <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> finally. It's about oh, time. You, oh, you should have actually <laughs> taken Marvel from them. Damn it! If only we had more people on the show, we could have taken a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Change your answer. <laughs> well, I don't, don't want to get rid of ones that we enjoy as well. Like Marvel movies are fun mm. sometimes. Yeah. yeah I like Marvel cheap. movies. Uh, well, what the yeah, fuck? I enjoy but, um, Minecraft way more than Marvel movies. So no, if I had to pick no, between one no. of them, if it was Sophie's Choice, I'm yeah, getting Marvel. You need to make a sacrifice, Kaya. <laughs> oh, you make a sacrifice. So what do you like, Charlie? <laughs> I'm canceling that. I'm canceling whatever you like. Fuck face. <laughs> let's get rid of uh, if we let's get rid of Bang Bus then, or something like that. Some kind of porn. <laughs> porn bang bus I think I'm canceling the moist meter. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa. That's my livelihood. You son of a bitch. <laughs> now you're hurting Jackson too. <laughs> yeah, well, why are you bring me into this? I'm canceling this podcast. I, I'm scorched earth here, <laughs> hurting all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, next up on our, my list of topics is, did you guys hear that Japanese developers are fucking weird? First of all, the Switch, uh, new Switch got announced. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> it's, People were expecting the Switch Pro. <laughs> it sucks Switch so much. Pro. Oh, we haven't, we haven't talked about Switch Oleon? Really? No. 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 I mean, oh, it was just got announced, fuck, didn't it? By the Steam Deck. So. Do you think, well, obviously the Steam Deck's... Uh, I don't think the Steam Deck's going to reach the same kind of market appeal. Buy, the, buy the Steam did. Deck and install a Switch emulator on it. There. You're done. So the Steam... But it's so big and sorry. the buttons are so weird. The, hang on, before... Don't, uh, don't skip ahead. So the Switch that they announced, the Switch OLED, what everybody thought was going to be a Switch Pro and where we're going to get a uh, yeah. you know, processor update. We're no longer going to get the 30-second loading screens on Legend of Zelda and shit. Nah. They just give you an OLED screen and a bigger footstand. <laughs> they didn't even <laughs> so much as fifty dollars more. Hey, Kaya, whoa, calm down. It has a built-in Ether port in the dock now. A true Ooh, for baby. all you uh, eSport yeah. athletes who need low latency, I guess. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone plays their Switch on Wi-Fi anyway. No one's gonna plug it in. Meanwhile, the, I'm like, my favorite thing about. This uh, this switch, this new switch, is uh, they're charging an extra fifty dollars for this refresh, and it only costs them about like I think it was five or ten dollars more in production costs. <laughs> so they're really nickel and dime everyone, <laughs> which they can. I mean, that's uh, people go crazy for new uh, switch models and shit. So whatever, it's their I, it's I'll their give success. Them, I'll give them kudos for only having updated the switch once because. You know, Nintendo has a track record of like, how many versions of the DS exist now? Like 27 million yeah. and a half. It's crazy how, many, how much yeah, they yeah, pumped yeah. that thing out. So I guess kudos on the restraint, Nintendo, and uh, fucking nothing the, else. The restraint's gone now. <laughs> they, they're, going, they're going to do a Switch Pro next year, I imagine. They're going to start refreshing yeah. this shit like crazy. What do you think the Switch Pro is going to look like? I have to imagine it's going to be another laughably dog shit upgrade, if you can even call it an upgrade. I think it'll be the regular Switch, but maybe with the bigger screen, so a little bigger overall. That's I yeah, imagine it'll get a new chipset, hopefully, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, onto the Steam Deck. And it won't be anything substantially uh, more powerful anyway. It'll still yeah, be they'll yeah. still be selling it at like a massive, uh, you know, price benefit to them. Yeah, so they'll be keeping manufacturing costs low. And it's Nintendo. We're never going to get like 420 FPS, 4K or anything nope. like that. Um, so nah, Steam announced nah, nah. their own version of the Switch, basically, which is like a little... It's essentially a entry-grade, I guess, gaming computer, but in a Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a fully open computer. You can install whatever the fuck you want on it. It looks really cool. Like the, the yeah. tech behind I, it looks I hope for pretty it. solid. Um, I, I, I have it's uh, not high hopes for it. I'm excited. It's nothing I would ever get, though. I'm just Same. not a handheld guy. No, I, absolutely I feel like not. if you want to get that, why not just get an entry-level laptop? 
because I can play well, while are, shitting. Well, all right. First of all, entry level laptops are already far more expensive than this handheld. Like, isn't this, the Steam Deck like the Steam Deck sixty four gig is three fifty? But then the next level sixty four gig is going to get you nowhere. By the way, since it's playing Steam games, so some of those games are literally sixty gigs. And then the next one is uh, what was it two fifty? And that is like six, six or seven hundred, right? But gaming laptops yeah, already are at like a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, but gaming mm, laptops also have more performance do. than this. I mean, this thing is meant to play games at like 720p. Yeah, 720p. It's still very yeah. impressive. Like, no, you no, can no. still play the latest games on it, like AAA but games. It's, but it's the size of a Switch. I mean, it is remember, not, a gaming like, laptop it's is ginormous, much bigger. Andrew. I watched an IGN review, and this, like, guy was holding it. Yeah, it is pretty big. And, like, okay, haha, soy boy jokes aside, the guy, okay, he may be a little tiny and effeminate, but it was still, like, almost as wide as his shoulders it's insane how huge that brick looked in his hands even on the promotional photos yeah, but you for can, the you can thing still... on their website like the women have to rest it on their knees <laughs> it's huge but you can still hold and operate it far easier than a laptop i mean you're not going to play yeah, a, laptop than a laptop as part of sure. this but i don't see how why anybody yeah. would get this who already either has a laptop or just a computer like me you know, I, I can't even remember the last time I played my Switch in, help, uh, in handheld. Same. So I'm not a handheld Same. person. I already have a PC. I don't see the point in this. I'm far more impressed with the technology behind them. Um, so Steam is using uh, their own version of Wine, which is a uh, software layer that you use on Linux to yeah. emulate Windows programs. And they call it Proton. And I'm very, very impressed by that because they say that the developers themselves don't have to worry about porting any of the games so any pc game that they hopefully support like most of them um can just run on this thing proton's been out for a bit i'm pretty sure at it least is, in and it's some open source uh, yeah. form yeah but I, I i had heard that it hadn't been entirely fleshed out like there was still a lot of things that just weren't working with it or a lot of games that didn't work with it i guess i'm not sure yeah, there's still I, I just know the implementation wasn't but it yeah, wasn't all there yet really impressive to me that they can make that claim at all to say that developers don't have to worry about porting anything and that most of the games will just work out of the box. I am I am very curious f as to who this is for, really. Like, I think Switch has found massive amounts of success because it, its games and software target the casual audience really well, and the casual audience loves handhelds and mo mobile games and such. But something powerful like this with, uh, you know, AAA game storefront applications and such i i don't think they use handhelds people much at all really do they yeah but you can also plug this into your monitor so this is perfectly yeah this is a great product and, for somebody who remember, has neither Jackson, a gaming computer nor a console hmm. and, and remember this the steam deck is a computer you can do more with yeah. it than play games yeah you can put whatever you want on it they uh, they like specifically said we're not locking you into steam you can yeah. do anything so i think that we have only seen a fraction of the applications of this thing you know yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out steam hasn't had the best uh history or valve hasn't had the best history of <laughs> hardware like they yeah. often put out hardware and then give up on it uh, like yeah. six months in same I'm, like, I'm banking on the more recent Valve, Google. though. Like the like the Index is incredible. It's the best VR headset I've ever used, and that was made by Valve. And I, I think this is the follow up to it. So I'm, I'm banking on that. I'm going. Ah, the previous thing was good. Do it again. We'll see. We will see. But I'm this is reminding it. me of uh, what was it? Steam Steam Machines or whatever the fuck they called it. Steam Those Box custom PCs. Yes, was it Steam Box? I think so. I can't remember the name sure. now. But basically, basically their custom PC um, project, and mm -hmm. that didn't go too well at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but they. But I we'll mean, see. they still have good bangers. There's also Steam Link, which is really good if you've ever used that. Nope. No. Never heard Just of me. It. Okay. Uh -uh. It's it's just a way to like connect your computer to a different room in your house. So if you like have a computer in one room and want to play it in your living room or something, it's a good way to make it portable in a sense. Now, mm. if Andrew, if I wanted to listen to audio from a different yeah. source wirelessly, how would I do that from a different room, perhaps? Oh well, boy, I was I was so excited when you said something that works right when you pull it out of the box because that's mm -hmm. Raycon, baby. Ooh, that's yes. absolutely Raycon. I mean, listen, whether you're running away from your problems or physically running on a track 
you can pop in Raycons and just immerse yourself into whatever amazing tunes you want to be listening to right now. I bring up running because I've been running every so often lately. And I pop in Raycons because they're just ready to go. And they just fit in my ears. And they don't flop around. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really big on over-ear headphones. I really prefer those. But let me tell you something. You're not going to run with those. You're going to look goofy. You're going to look silly. You're going to look like a, like a big dummy. But if you pop in earbuds, they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to stay right in your ear. They're not going to like bounce around and get uneven audio when you're like moving around a lot and you got to readjust your headphones. I hate that. I fucking hate that. You're missing the biggest part here. You're not going to pull them out of your pants and have to untangle them for like two minutes before you exactly. get to use them. That's yes. the worst part of wired no headphones. No cords, no wires. Back, back in the fucking dark ages, the medieval <laughs> fucking plague era, I used to run like holding my music player in my hand or putting it on a wristband. And then there was that headphone wire that had to go up to your earbuds. And it, it sucked because it's like sometimes maybe if you were running, you accidentally slap it and that just pulls the cords on your head and it hurts or they get tangled up and you don't have as much distance from it. It's like this fucking blows. But when they're wireless, you don't have to care about any of that. And let me tell you something. Raycons, they're wireless. Absolutely wireless. 24 hour battery life, in fact. So for the love of God, if you're doing any sort of activity, cleaning your house, fucking walking to the neighborhood market or 7-Eleven or what have you, put them in. They're just right there. They're ready to go. 24 hour battery life. You'll also get 15% off of all their products by going to buyraycon.com slash OP. 15% off your entire Raycon order. You'll grab two pairs. One for yourself and one in case something happens. Or maybe you've got someone you want to give a very portable gift to. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash OP. Buyraycon.com slash OP. Mm -hmm. I use mine working out. Still the best use case. Highly recommended. Yeah, yeah. I will never go back to wired headphones while working out. Fuck that shit. Right. But uh, jumping back on the on the steam shit arguments like i'm very excited for it because i when i play my switch 90 percent of the time it's portable because i will just have downtime and pick it up for 30 minutes at a time pick it up play something for a little bit and then put it back to sleep so the thing from the steam deck i really need is a like on-demand sleep mode like where you can just flick it on and off immediately because then it'll just be the switch but for steam games and that's i think it i really that. like that concept yeah, I imagine yeah, it would have to. Perfect. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure all I wanted. Does. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, like, I think mean, of, like think about it. Games are getting longer and longer and longer lately. Like, you play fucking Death Stranding, and it's like 80 hours. Or you, you play Nier Automata, and it's like 40 hours. And, like, you play this game that came out, and it's this <laughs> long. So it's like, why not get a machine where instead of having to have your computer on, and have Steam open, and have the game loaded and ready, you just flip a single button, and the game's ready That's, to play. That's actually my biggest concern about it, though, is battery life. There's no way this thing is pushing more than, like, three, four hours with um, with, mm -hmm. the, with those kinds of games. So you're yeah, going yeah, to need to constantly that's recharge That's totally it. fair. Yeah. But I, I, I think, would still I rather have portability concern. than not have it. And I don't know, as someone who plays games in short bursts now, I, I really appreciate that. So if it works like the Switch does, I'm very excited for it. I've already pre-ordered it. I'm looking forward to it. Ah, you actually got one. It sold out pretty quickly from what I saw. Yeah, I uh, I started right when they opened, and I kept trying for 20 minutes until I eventually got the result. <laughs> eventually got it. I That's really the wanted problem it. I'm with excited these things. for this. It's like, okay, the Switch OLED was announced. Neat. Seven people are ever going to get their hands on one, and then it's going to be sold out for yep, the next five yeah. years. Same with the Steam Deck. Like, I guess good for you guys, but I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucking e3 should have been nothing but one unified conference that was four minutes long and it was a single graphic that said we're printing more playstations and xboxes and that's it <laughs> that's the whole show yeah this because you're never gonna everywhere. play these games they're all sold out now <laughs> you said a few I, I actually that reminds me you said a few weeks ago that the xbox series x hadn't sold out or whatever you said it was it was available you could find it easily it, it's it's completely sold out same as no PlayStation it 5. is yeah uh apparently i was looking at resellers without realizing uh, it yeah, yeah because to be fair their prices were not that far away from retail <laughs> uh, i was surprised um but now <laughs> now even the resellers are gone they are just oh, it's shame. completely gone now yeah you know what's bizarre i to have me. a massive 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, okay, go, go, go. No, 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 no. you go. This no, fucking you go, Discord my delay really fucks us up so often with this show. No, it's go, okay. Please go. No, you can. No, no, <laughs> you. Jackson. I don't. I don't want to change the topic too much. I was going to no. bring up an entirely new thing. Please That's go. That's okay. Go. No, no, no. Jackson, Jackson go you go. No, fine. Jackson, Charlie, please. Charlie, you sound like you actually have something to bring up. <laughs> please, by all means. No, I don't want to step on your toes, Jackson. <laughs> no, I hate <laughs> these awkward <laughs> situations. <laughs> I was I was actually going to make a massive gaming recommendation for everyone out there. Everyone uh, who knows my tastes will know that I don't give recommendations out without me believing in them. And I want everyone out there to play Judgment. It is so fucking good. The, it's a it's a game made by the people who made the Yakuza series. It's so good, Andrew. You need to play it. It is so good. Oh, uh, it's on oh the God, list, baby. It's so good. If I, only I, I had so a dedicated computer that I could pick it up and play in short bursts of times, no matter where I am. <laughs> it's not on PC, you loser. That's I know, I it's not. Up. It sucks. Oh, I don't want to lose the PlayStation up to so play it. You paid 600 bucks for nothing. Interestingly enough... <laughs> Interestingly enough, the reason why Judgment isn't on PC, uh, news about this just broke. Basically, the main character is modeled after uh, the voice actor, and the talent agency in Japan that represents that voice actor, or actual actor, he's a real-life actor, actually, um, they basically said that they don't want his likeness on PC and the internet, and it's it's to such an extreme degree that journalists have to photoshop him out of digital articles like they control oh my God. so what? much about what? this character's oh my likeness God. is crazy i was reading i'm not exaggerating um what is his so name what is every article I, I can't remember his it's like Taka. you probably can't see him online <laughs> yeah he's just, like uh, like pictures from the premiere of judgment he is literally photoshopped out of them so crudely like he's just a gray square <laughs> oh my god that's pictures. hilarious i didn't know that at all so th that's th that's the reason why judgment isn't on pc because the um the, the talent agency doesn't want that oh, actor okay so actor's likeness being on the internet and on pc yeah, it says japanese voice actor kyohei hamura adjusted for the um okay so no the game will no, have the no, character no, that's not the one that's not the one how many do they have? How many actors do they have to replace? Okay, so, so this the, one that I'm the, reading the, about... The, the Hamura one got, had to get remodeled after his actor, his voice actor, was uh, found to be in possession of cocaine in Japan. <laughs> so <laughs> they wanted him out of the game completely, and then they remodeled him. Okay, which one oh, are you talking about? That's a completely yeah. different story. Yeah, well, I I'm think talking about the main about character. What, what is uh, his name, did, Jackson? But the main you, character you, is... I'm, I'm looking it up. It's, it's a Japanese name. I don't know it off by hand. It's Tak... Takuyumi Yagami. Uh, no, but that's the character's name. Taku Ka Takuya oh. Kimura. Takayuki that's the, that's the Yagami. Actor's name. That's the character's name. Okay. The, the actor's name is Takuya Kimura. Oh, Takuya Kimura. Kimura. And okay. Oh, he looks nothing like a Zinga yeah. character who looks way from here in no, real he looks, life. What are you talking about? He looks he what the, the in-game character looks exactly like him. No, like it's modeled after him. No, he, it does it not. It does. Look at the Wikipedia articles, Jackson. We do a back and forth between Takayuki Yagami and Takayuka Takuya Kimura. They look exact. They look so similar to me. Just anyway, so why is he being cancelled so, again? Like, Jackson, what, are you saying that Asians this? look alike? <laughs> what, what i'm saying uh, yeah I, I am i'm saying the asian actor who was modeled after i mean the character who was modeled after this voice actor ah, looks the same. that was their intention <laughs> that's not racist uh, i see okay but what exactly has mr takuya kimura done that is uh, like unspeakable to western audiences i'm, no, I'm still he, ha he, ha he hasn't done anything it's his talent agency, the people representing him and who control his contracts and stuff. They don't want his likeness on the internet because they're so antiquated that they don't they don't know anything about the like a lot oh of Japanese companies God. are like this, like Nintendo. They don't know about the internet or the computer, like PC platform or whatever. So I knew they, it. they don't want their people on it. I knew it. That's the reason. That's the reason why Nintendo is such a dinosaur fossil. Yeah. Well, even during the height They're of COVID, they decided not to give Nintendo, uh, not Nintendo, the fucking Mario Party online multiplayer. This is why. It's all run by dinosaurs. They don't know about the, yeah, it, exactly. Oh. It's th That entire industry is somehow run by old people who don't know the technology that they should be, uh, or the platforms they should be engaging with. It's crazy. And it, this is directly 
impacting like the next uh, sequel to Judgment as well, which has me pissed off. Like they might cancel yeah. the one that's coming up after this. I'm reading this. that right now. It's so sad. I, when I when I, the news broke the other day, I was so sad because this this series is so fucking good. I, like it might be cancelled because they can't release it on PC and the talent agency and, and okay, Sega so just can't come to an agreement. Okay, explain this. How do they believe that uh, you know PCs are heretical and uh, the the invention of Satan and witch witchcraft, but consoles aren't? That doesn't make sense. How do they discriminate know, against only just one kind of technology? This is so bizarre. I don't know, but they do. But they do. <laughs> I don't know. But that's the reason. <laughs> it's crazy. And it is God. It's so sad. It's so fucking sad. But yeah, yeah that's my recommendation for the week. Anyone out there, you, you need to play Judgment. It's so funny, though, the <laughs> articles referencing, uh, like, the premiere of the first game, all the pictures I could find, the, the actor's just photoshopped out, and he's just like a, a grey silhouette <laughs> next to <laughs> the photos of his <laughs> castmates. It's like, who is this mystery man? <laughs> Even though if you just look up... Like, you can find more pictures of the character online than you can find of him. <laughs> even though they look exactly the same. Oh, that's funny. Also, Andrew, this might be interesting to you. You know how Yakuza games always have um, always have karaoke? Yes. Karaoke minigames? They couldn't put, put it in um, Judgment because the talent agency didn't want... <laughs> um, this guy singing because he's an actual singer in real life. Like they manage his oh music my career God. as well, and they thought that'd be too oh much Oh my overlap. God, that's so restrictive. Jesus, yeah, holy crazy. fuck! Are you sure this guy isn't just a slave wow. of some the Japanese cartels or something? It sounds like they're just no these he's these, a slave. these Japanese talent agencies do treat their clients like slaves. Definitely, they do. They do. It's all about like public image, but they go to extremes over it. It's nuts. Do you think they'll make him, they'll force him to commit seppuku in front of all of them if the game flops? <laughs> well, the, I don't think they care if the game flops. They don't even know what a game is, this talent <laughs> agency. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. I'm just sitting here reading about this agency called Johnny and Associates. Yeah. They are fucked. This I, is so dumb. I don't think they're like unique over in Japan or anything. I think that's, I think a lot of the agencies act the same way. Do you have any, any fun facts from the article that you're reading, Charlie? This is all just about Kimura right now. Wow, dude. Oh, well, they yeah, have some but, uh, um, sexual harassment allegations. Your boy might get cancelled, Jackson. Even more so than he already is. But him? What? Yeah. He's got sexual assault? What? No, not him. No, no, don't. Oh, God, no, they sound very litigious. No, I did not say any such thing. I'm just saying that there are allegations of sexual harassment at their company, not against Mr. Oh, well, yeah. Kiyamoto, Hamamoto, or whatever the fuck his name is. Kimura. Whatever. Um, wh Why'd you say my boy might be in trouble then? You think they're going to throw him under the bus? I don't know. <laughs> sexual assault? Maybe, maybe they'll make him take the fall. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> he's he's not he's like a he's an actual big actor over in Japan. He's not like small or anything. He he was part of a pretty big musical act as well. Yeah, this company does sound fucked. Um, apparently they have. I'm looking at the subheader called Media Blacklisting Investigation. Apparently they're being investigated by the Fair Trading Commission for potentially violating the Anti-Monopoly Act due to accusations of pressuring the media to reduce coverage of Atarashi Chizu, a group made up of former SMAP members, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so they like, uh, they conspire with the media to censor f entire persons, I guess, and their appearances. They sound like the real Yakuza, to yeah. be honest. They sound like a, a racketeering group, almost. I kind of want to hire them. Yeah. They're like the vacuum cleaner guy <laughs> from Breaking Bad that makes you disappear <laughs> and gives you a real Holy life. Holy Jesus. Like, I, delete me why off the internet, to, Why would you want to hire them? To make me disappear. This yeah, company... This fucking company goes hard. Apparently, they're so controlling of their talent that they don't ever want them talking about their marriage propositions or children because it could taint their image. <laughs> that's not that's well, not a unique thing. Like, no, idols are allowed to date, I know it's, yeah, I know it's yeah. not unique, but it's that's fucked. Like, Kimura apparently is allowed to talk about his marriage and children because he's so, like, beloved in the company. 
that he actually is an exception. He's not to allowed. His pictures aren't allowed online. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <or in> articles. <laughs> He's so well loved. Holy shit. <laughs> There's probably like an employee there dedicated to photoshopping him out of images. This company is like the anti-doxing so, company. Just no photos, no personal information. Delete everything. God. Have you, have Charlie, have you seen the images of him photoshopped out yet? No, those still haven't come up yet. I'm just reading about their history. They are... So they're very well known to be like this for everything. It's not just this one case. This is crazy. What a fucked company. <laughs> yeah, on what that jerks. note, uh, Jackson, I need you to delete your Twitter, Instagram, your entire social media presence, except this podcast. It is crazy how they could be in that industry and not know what the internet is. Oh, oh, I found the, the I found the grayed out pictures. Are these real? <laughs> these are hilarious. Yeah. Can you put yeah, them in the chat? Yeah. They they don't even like blur his face or anything. They literally turn him into a big gray blob. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Those can't like, be real. <laughs> no, they are. Who who is that mystery man? Uh, he's like, like the he's like the killer in a fucking anime mystery. <laughs> I, I love I, I, I love the pictures on the screen you know, with his hand on his shoulder. We need to put Who these on screen for those on, for those on audio only. Imagine the what's this Pokemon thing, but injected into actual photos. <laughs> yeah. It's just the oh, gray man. silhouettes, and it's nothing. They literally just took like scissors to the newspaper and cut out a person, <laughs> like they have a grudge yeah, against I, them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so joking. fucking funny. They, they, apparently, they, they do this with all articles with him. Like they they don't yeah. give permission for his likeness to be used. Oh, I my just Lord. found it. it was awesome. Why even put him on the article then? Because I'm looking at another one. This is a magazine cover with uh, a girl leaning back to back with the guy, but he's grayed out, so it's her leaning back to back with a fucking ghost. Like, what is the <laughs> point in even publishing these? It doesn't make to any build fucking intrigue. sense. You would you would think <laughs> that as an actor. <laughs> And as a personality, you would want his image out there as much as okay. possible so For that real. more people see it. What, what is this called yeah. again? Johnny and Associates? Business proposition, Johnny fellas. and Associates. Instead of being the villains... Apply these skills to making people disappear off the internet because there's a lot of people who will pay for that. You can be the vacuum cleaner guy in Breaking Bad. Hey, are people making fun of you on the internet? Did your docs get leaked? Do you want to just disappear and have your entire online presence deleted? You're not. Go to Johnson. You're not understanding. They don't. Re they don't remove his presence. They filter like they, the stuff has to pass through them first to then go on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah, so also, fun fact that they didn't even like take a minute to think about. You can rip everything from consoles if their whole concern was we don't want well, the yeah, model yeah. being taken from the PC That's game what, and yeah. used for nefarious purposes. You can steal the model directly from a PlayStation. That's what I mean. It's easy. It's easy to find models of his character <laughs> online than it is to actually find him. <laughs> there <laughs> should be like a noble hack, like a noble modding group that just makes tons of games using his character model from this and makes him like a big star of indie games without Johnny and Associates no, they, permission. They should rip his 3D model and Photoshop it into the photos that they edit him out of. <laughs> that oh, looks so good. Big brain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. God, I love that game. What though. is wrong with the Japanese and just like old men running companies hating the internet? It's I was um like I always think back to the Paul Krugman quote, which he has been thoroughly dunked on because back in the day he said that the um, the internet's impact on the world would be no greater than the fax machines. And he's just been continuously for decades and decades made fun of for it. It seems like the Japanese still believe in that. Like, ah, the internet's newfangled bullshit. Well, I, I think it's just because Japanese people aren't fucking much. There's no new generation to really take over <laughs> those high-end <laughs> positions. It's all just no. left to old people, pretty much. No, but no, it absolutely is. No, but because the new ge Aren't you talking about the hikikomoris? The, the ones that have, like, no sex and they just sit inside all day? You'd think those are the prime candidates for knowing the internet. All they do is play video games on the internet. Yeah, but they're not in... They're inside all day. They're not in high-end positions at these jobs. True. Like, um, yeah, fair. Jobs. Yeah. So it's a combination of things. First off, Japan has a much older, on average, population, and much, many, many of the people doing these businesses are much older. And the other half is that they're very, very controlling with product. And they see the actor's image as product. It's also why, like, uh, like tons of idol girls 
and models, they literally are not allowed to talk about relationships or friendships. Because it's <laughs> like, oh, you have a boyfriend? Image completely ruined. Done. No one cares anymore. Well, to and be there fair, is that's, some... Isn't that universal? Yeah, there, that there the is West? some the logic. The West. Yeah, there's some logic to it because it's like, oh, the people who are obsessed, they're not going to be interested now that they found out, you know, you have a relationship or whatever. But yeah. with Japan, it is your entire life is your image. You, yeah. It's not a separation of it. Yeah, know? but I'm reading I'm reading a little more. They also were issuing Twitter takedown, like taking accounts down for fans that were posting their merch <laughs> on the oh walls. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, wow. Jesus it's old Christ. People. The actual prime minister, Shinzo <laughs> Abe, had to step in and make sure Johnny and Associates couldn't blacklist some idols that left their company once. It's Abe, by yeah. the way, I'm pretty sure. Not like Shinzo Abe. Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the Abe Lincoln of Shinzo Japan. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's he fr it's fucked he up. freed the talent agency slaves. I don't know. I that think a lot of people wild. could uh, benefit from their services. Like all the people that get uh, clowned on by the Kiwi farms, like get doxxed and shit. They just hire Johnny's and whatever the fuck they're called. Johnny's and associates. God, they're not fucking wizards. They don't know how the internet works. They're not going to be magically able to remove <laughs> your traits from the internet. Well, apparently yeah, they, they know enough to like uh, fucking choke the internet. You, see, you don't even know who we are. No, they're not that. They're not fucking omnipotent wizards of the internet. They don't know how to do that. The stuff has to pass through them first. They have to give permission before, uh, like, journalists are able to post their articles or whatever. Okay, but so what That's I'm saying though is, it. if uh, okay, so what would happen right now if a random Twitter user posts a photo of Kiyomoto Tamamuchi or Tamagotchi or whatever the fuck? So they would send a DMCA request, I guess, a takedown request, right? Well, we could try. We could test that theory, I guess. But I don't think <laughs> go they ahead, would. buddy. <laughs> I'm not your no, they, they have. <laughs> they they have taken down Twitter but accounts you just, say just Abe, for posting merch. Abe like stopped them from. That doing was that different. <laughs> no, Abe uh, stopped them from blacklisting anyone that leaves uh, their agency. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> <So, laughs> holy shit! You have to actually oh step in and god. do that. <laughs> Banished from Japan <laughs> for leaving their agency. <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck! We own your name, buddy. We own you and your face and no. your person. So seriously, though, this is probably the last time you're going to be able to play Judgment, so make sure you play <laughs> it and the sequel. I imagine the sequel's going to be really good too, but it's going to be your last uh, opportunity too before they delete it from the internet. And That man's going to be deleted from reality. After <laughs> yeah. that game comes out, he'll no longer gonna, exist. Like, that'll snap him out of existence. <laughs> yeah, they're going to make him disappear. Just away. You're going to be like Yakamoto Who. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Do you think he's aware of how much they fuck with him? I Apparently, I feel like he doesn't be. care. Like, I feel like there's a level of brainwashing that has to go into an agency like this mm -hmm. where they, like, convince you the Internet is scary and bad. And we don't want you on it. And it's a good thing you're not there. You're lucky you yeah. have us yeah. looking out for you. Yeah. It could just be Capcom's PR, but apparently he is a pretty big avid gamer and he really likes the series and such. And he loves working on it. So Yeah, but he's knows. also... He Hang on, how old is he? Uh, he's he's like middle aged. He's in his he's 40s, forty eight. Yeah, he's kind of a boomer himself. So I wouldn't be surprised if he bought the whole thing hook, line, and sinker. Like, yeah, keep me off the internet. You're right. It's it's dangerous. Do you guys yeah, know? I, I doubt he cares. To be honest, have any of you guys kept up with the Britney Spears thing recently? Do any of you know? Because I don't. Yeah, they uh, ruled in favor of her dad. Okay, so <laughs> wait, they did. It, it, hang on. So, hang on. so recap all of this. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, please. Re all I know is that she had some sort of a deal with her father, and her father is using her basically as a slave or something. Could you tell us? For the last twenty years, yeah. Yeah, it's a. So at some point in Britney's career. Her dad was given complete control over her money, so she's not allowed to, like, do anything. This is from my understanding. I could be wrong. Is there a reason for that? But she's... Yeah, because the court ruled that she wasn't, like, mentally Ugh. strong enough to be trusted with that level of wealth or Ugh. something like that. Wasn't so this when it, she was, like, really following down into drugs and yeah, shit? Yeah, when she was... It's called, like, conservator conservatorship. Mm-hmm. And basically, her dad was just given this right to spend and look after her money because she couldn't be trusted with it. And I just looked it up. So conservatorship is when the guardian or protector is appointed by a judge to manage the financial affairs and or daily life of a person due to old age, 
physical or mental limitations. Uh, don't you have to so be when Britney Spears like, was like really mentally handicapped for that to even apply? That sounds r- insane. Uh, it really feels like a, a like a corrupt court or something yeah. must have ruled this because even at her worst, I don't think she was nearly as bad as like some other mental breakdowns we've seen over the years, but they don't have this level of restrictions imposed. So her dad manages all of her wealth. Uh, apparently her dad's not to be trusted. He's done some shady shit or something. So recently Brittany brought this back to court trying to get the conservatorship overturned so she could actually like survive on her own like independently. And the judge said no and then released Bill Cosby like the day after. So <laughs> Wait, this is pretty the rough same judge? What? No, no, it's, it's a different judge. Yeah, but man, it's like the like same justice system. 24 hours. <laughs> Yeah. Well, also, doesn't she? Wow. So, what's this I hear about that she uh, cannot legally remove her IUT? Oh, that, so like I said, with conservatorship, they apparently give that person, the guardian, complete control over like their decisions. Like he makes ah, yeah, rubs them of agency. Cool. Yeah. So uh, basically, what he says she has to do, and I guess that's one of those things. That is that just gave me chills. How's that that not is like, so fucked up to force. Yeah. Like, How is that not slavery? That is literally slavery. I'm gonna sterilize you. Tough yeah. shit, kiddo. You're a slave. What the fuck? You can't even do that with children, right? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> like, I mean, I... Actually, I don't know about children. There's, like, fucking parents who give their children hormones and shit and they castrate them, but, like... None, none of this is okay. And she's a grown-ass adult. How old is she now? She's a fucking boomer. She's, like, in her 40s, is she not? It's insane. She's... Yeah, I think she's, like, 40-something. I'll look it up. 39. Oh my god. This is so fucked up. And like, yeah, she, doesn't she already up? have a kid? You know, she has a kid, right? Does she? I thought she did. So I know that at some point she went kind of sort of insane. She shaved her head and she was yelling at paparazzis, like the gas station and shit. And people gave her so much mm-hmm. shit for it. And meanwhile, I was thinking like, uh, you know, she's a fucking media industry slave and she's yelling at the paparazzi. I mean, the paparazzi are subhuman. They deserve to get yelled at. That's not the sign of a crazy person. That's a sign of a sane person wanting to be left alone. Like, the paparazzi are fucking insane. Yeah. They're the crazy people. Yeah, it had, to do, it had to be something that her dad was pulling the strings on. I don't know much about his, about her dad, but there's just no way a court would ever rule something like this against someone like her. I don't think she ever had a breakdown or, like, was ever like a danger to herself or others that couldn't be trusted with money. Like, I don't think that was ever like a, a, a real concern. I feel like this was just something that dad was able to pull some strings and get happen. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it sounds like the biggest problem in her life was the paparazzi and her dad, just the industry, I guess. And Kevin Federline. Who's that? Anyone remembers him? <laughs> that was her husband at the time. He was yeah. Uh, a shitty rapper that she married. He's a fucking weirdo. Fuck yeah, he was a dumb weirdo who did stupid Kay weird fed. shit. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't he always make those noises where he was like, oh, oh, oh. Wasn't that him? <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be thinking of Owen Wilson, I'm not sure, but uh, K Fed was a weird guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird trait. <laughs> hey, I'm the old yeah. guy. <laughs> she 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 does have two children by the way with him so we do have to admit mm-hmm. though you guys that one person was right all along and we were super wrong right i'm gonna play it Who's up? and how fucking dare anyone out there make fun of britney oh. after all she's been through <laughs> yeah. she lost her aunt she went through a divorce that's she right had two fucking kids her husband turned out to be a user, a cheater, and now she's going through a custody battle. All you people care about is readers and making money off of her. She's a human! Turns out this motherfucker was right all along. What Chris you Car- don't realize is that I, Britney's I, making I, you all this money, and all you do is write a bunch of crap about her. Uh, I, I'm just impressed that not only are we playing years. memes from over 10 years ago, but you Our cut out the famous part. Give me more for I, 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 <laughs> I didn't cut it out. I'm looking it up right now. It's coming up. Leave her alone! There. Are there you happy go. now? Oh, there you, you go. got the meme uh, part. <laughs> I got the release. There we go. 
<laughs> you got the money shot. Yeah, just look that yeah. up on YouTube. That had to have been longer than 10 years, by the way. Yeah, it was like 2009, Chris Crocker. Oh, yeah. I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I feel so fucking bad for... Oh, Jesus. I feel so fucking bad for people like Chris Crocker and like OG YouTubers like What the Buck Show and all that shit. Because they were doing it well before you could make a living off it. And now they can't. Like, they paved the way, but never profited. They're like actual, like, esports. Remember when esports yeah. were just like this niche thing that you couldn't live off of and like a dead end thing? Yeah, being too they, soon is a thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. being too soon is the yeah. worst possible fucking thing. Like committing yourself to something, but just doing it too early. You were born too early, yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Well, rough, rough, rough. Ah, feel bad for Brittany now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that is also rough. No one deserves that. No one deserves millions of dollars. <laughs> well, she, she doesn't. Does. No, yeah, I'm dead. Dead. I know. Yeah, for her dad. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> the IUT thing is the most fucked up part to me. Like, you're literally, your dad is sterilizing you against your will. That is so fucked up. It's like a forced abortion. Yeah, having yeah. control over another person in general is just fucked. And, like, legally declaring. Like, that legal declaration is also a legal declaration that she can't look after herself and she's not sane. And there's just so much there to unpack. It's like, it's legally saying she's not a human being, pretty much. It's fucked. Yeah. Um, but let's go back to Japanese wackiness. Yippee! Did you know that the Olympics has banned uh, oh, athletes yeah. from having sex? I Yes, my friend, I <laughs> have the they... tweet up here right now, actually. Um, hang on, let me Read see it. if I can drop the photo into our chat as well. I cannot, so somebody else has to do it, please. So, the Japanese Olympics, uh, which are taking place in Tokyo, the Olympics, by the way, to much of the chagrin of the native population, because apparently they really don't want the Olympics to happen. Um, no country sex. wants the Olympics to happen where it happens. Yeah, apparently it's yeah. always a fucking hassle. Yeah, that's a that's a whole thing. The government wants it because it makes money, but the people never want it because it causes a fuckload of problems. It's yeah. been like that for every country for the last. I would imagine like, 30 it creates years. so much jobs in the local area, though. It's weird. Yeah, temporary that jobs that last like a couple months, but the yeah, impact but on all nothing, the people surely. coming in is way worse. Not even months. Yeah, Plus, like. To make the country look better, oh, the countries, every single time the Olympics are about to happen, they, like, shovel all the homeless people out of the streets and jail them. Or just, like, fucking... Yeah, and, the, and then the facilities are abandoned and, and shitty after the Olympics, too. They're just, yeah. like, reminders of of better times, almost. Okay, like so the Olympics, Brazil. for to whatever city hosts it, the Olympics is literally just one thing for money. And then everything else it brings is nothing but problems and everyone hates it. Now, to give you uh, background information, usually, so Olympic athletes, you have all these chiseled men and women, peak performance, Just, uh, apparently yeah. Olympic villages, Adonis which are is. where the people, you know, the athletes uh, sleep during the, Olympi during the Olympics, they have a lot of sex, apparently. Like, tons and tons. What? No they way. They fuck like animals, they're peak humans, they're peak performance, they fuck like goddamn maniacs, and who can blame them? But because of COVID... And because the um, Japanese regime does not want a bunch of vaccinated people to get COVID apparently from each other, they've decided to give them cardboard beds that are designed to only yeah, support the weight rough. of one person. So let me read this tweet. These are the anti-sex beds in which the Olympic athletes will sleep to avoid contagion of COVID. Point one, they are made of cardboard and will be recycled. Point two, they only support the weight of one person. Point three. It breaks in any sudden movements. What a bunch of dicks. <laughs> point, point four, you can have sex on the floor. Yes. Yeah. These are, these are fit stop as fuck anybody. <laughs> these are fit as fuck people. Surely they can fuck standing up as well. They can in fuck. Oh, positions that we can, can't even imagine. They can fuck midair. Have you ever seen a man do an iron cross? That's a superhuman <laughs> feat. You're not going to stop these people from having sex if they're determined to. Also... All you're uh, doing is giving them a bad night's rest in the, yeah, <laughs> for like, their fucking uh, all you're giving them, feats of strength. All you're giving them is a little bit of carpet burn, essentially. Also, it breaks in any sudden movement. Excuse you, like, even when I'm not having sex, like, if I toss and turn my bed, it's gonna break now? That's the shittiest thing to do to a person. These beds, by the way, they look like the most uncomfortable piece of shit. They look like futuristic pot beds yeah. that are just, like, super flat and horrible to sleep in. 
Yeah, right before their big performances too. That's got to fucking suck. Waking up for a 100 meter sprint tired as fuck because you were sleeping on cardboard. If I, was, if I was a coach, I would sue. Like, you're not... Look, I have athletes okay you cannot do this to them you can't make them sleep on a fucking piece of cardboard and deny them poon this is affecting their performance <laughs> <laughs> negatively but also are not aren't all of the athletes vaccinated what's the fucking point of this uh, the, like the likelihood of them spreading any sort of disease at this point or at least covid is like zero point nothing let them have sex And Japanese don't believe in sex. Why are the Japanese it's ass taboo. backwards? Japan, stop. Uh, again, it's old people. I think it's old people. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in Japan Do is old Do they not believe that much. vaccines work either? I guess the internet and vaccines, they're, they're skeptical of those two things. Hmm. All right, let's, let's wrap this up with a few patron questions quickly because it's almost at the end of the month and we haven't answered any of the... Uh, July question thread questions. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so this one comes from uh, Oz. Oz, a buddy and I are both trying to go out and get laid, but just are too weird. How do we make the moves? I know Charlie has a few with these three in one day skills. <laughs> I didn't meet them on that day, though. They were they were people I knew. Oh, you, you were like you were working before that day to bang them. You were laying like the the groundwork. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, it wasn't just like strangers. What do you mean? <laughs> well, that's less impressive. Well, come on. He, he still wants advice. Help the man. Well, there's no adv- Don't be weird. I don't know. There's, what to tell there's you. literally no advice. It depends there entirely on the person no and the situation. There is no one single catch all that works for talking to people. That's not true. You could pay it's for it. It's absolutely true. <laughs> Anyone who gives you pickup lines that works is a liar. It's you're on not Patreon. How you it clearly works. have. You have, you're on Patreon. You clearly have disposable income. Buy it. <laughs> Get. To, yeah, find just a buy the women. Uh, if you want real advice, don't be weird is genuinely good advice. Don't be no, fucking it's creepy. Not. Yeah, no, but they that's don't terrible know what, advice. Not weird okay, is. Charlie, exactly. They don't know what weird is. Oh, they're going to want to talk about my Minecraft collection. It's not weird. It shows I'm industrious. No, the, I think if you don't have to like, weird, say it's, it's not advice. weird, it's weird. No, they're not going to know it's not weird because they don't have social experience. No, it's I, bad. But yeah, it's the best advice. advice to give is like it's, fail it's a few times, advice. I guess. Just learn by yeah, yeah just keep error. Trial the best error. advice, okay. The best advice is that men like to be direct, whereas women like to talk adjacent. That works every single time. So if you're a dude going out for women, don't talk about her. Don't talk about yourself. Talk about what's going on. That's what they like to talk about. If you're at a bar, talk about the music. If you're at a club, talk about the, the fucking decorations. If you're at a restaurant, talk about the food. It works every time. Wait, I thought no, the old joke was women love talking about themselves. Like not you when just not when you're trying to like about them. Oh, they God. do, but it's awkward to just be directly asking someone questions over and over and over again if you're not trying if you're to you're charismatic on them. about it. But these people aren't charismatic. That's why they're asking, <laughs> Jackson. Oh, how are they going to be charismatic talking about music? I'll give one piece music of in advice. The club. One piece, because I, I just did a Dr. Love session back from hiatus yesterday for like two and a half hours, so I'm tuckered out on love <laughs> advice. But generally, the best advice for men is don't talk about yourself too much and especially never bring up your problems. No girl on earth wants to hear about your mom issues. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. That's the biggest True. turn off. Yeah. Don't ever do that. That's my little Which bit. falls into the don't be weird category. It is yeah. weird yeah, to do that. I don't know <laughs> how would they you know that's it to weird. Because it just it's be more self-aware. <laughs> you I don't got know. Jack me. Yeah, th- this is not a problem we can solve in just two minutes, Jackson. Yeah, tell them to contact Dr. Yeah. Love. What? I don't fucking care. I, yeah. I gave them the best <laughs> advice. I said pay for it. <laughs> use the, the, fo- use the Ford good. talking uh, platform family occupation recreation and dreams talk about those there you go hey, don't what, turn it into an acronym like? <laughs> 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 um yeah but like there's no way that we're gonna fix this in a two like an hour and a no. half long podcast episode which is why the best advice is literally pay for it that's the easiest no, way to no, get shut up it is the easiest all, way to get all it. goose and jokes and things. aside the only 
the only real advice is go out there and fail at it until you learn to succeed. Yeah, but that also is the give only up. Thing. Also give up uh, with like that individual woman as soon as she shows like the slightest disinterest. Don't keep yes. badgering her. <laughs> do not yeah. keep. Yeah. Do not keep going. You know yes. that's, that's an actual thing. I forget what it's called, but there are people out there who like in order to therapize themselves, they intentionally. Uh, put themselves in situations to get rejected. I forget the name, but it has a Wikipedia article about it. It's where the goal is... It like is the thing where if you're scared of cockroaches, you hold cockroaches a lot or something? Similar. It's not... I know what you mean. It, it, what you're talking about is like exposure therapy. Mine is similar. Yeah, what I'm th talking about is similar, but the goal is explicitly you have to be... You have to walk up to people who you know are going to tell you no. And that's supposed to like desensitize you and give you like more ego and shit. I don't know if it works, but that I find it funny like it. That, that, uh, that it's a thing. That still sounds exactly like exposure therapy. Yeah, maybe. You're exposing yeah. yourself the, to the, the rejection. The only one proven method that actually works is you do it and you keep doing it, either, whether you fail or not, because that's how you get experience. That's it. This guy, well, you, this you know, patron he, who asked the question must be at home so depressed that we didn't give him a, like his actual solution. It's going to get him laid. Well, sorry. Just do, just do it. Nike had it right. <laughs> they did. Tell tell them that you are a patron for the official <laughs> podcast. Use code They'll official on your yeah, next Yeah, would that be uh, weird, Dr. Charlie? No, that'd be fine. They'd probably <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, here, I found it. It's called Rejection Therapy. Rejection Therapy is a social self-help game created by Jason Comley, where being rejected by another person or group is the sole winning condition. <laughs> 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 that, that seems counterproductive, though, because you could just start throwing <laughs> bottles at their head and screaming. And what if you get addicted to being rejected and then you can't form a healthy Ooh, relationship because yeah, you're always you go, wanting them to reject you? You go off the deep end Ooh. and you become a cuckold. Like, yeah, reject me. Fuck other people. All right. Uh, that's I, that's a dangerous more, premise. Jackson. Is there anybody we can actually help uh, in two minutes? Do, 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 do. I don't think we're going to help anyone. Uh, this one was kind of funny. I like this one. Caleb Ramirez says, going to Retropalooza in Houston at the end of the month. That's soon. Any questions y'all would like me to ask Mr. Stephen Williams, a.k.a. Bookie? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he's, he's also going to Retropalooza. <laughs> I made me laugh because I, I just imagined us like getting this guy to go up to him and say, the official podcast sends <laughs> my regards. <laughs> Whisper it in his ears <laughs> and then walk off. Yeah, just put a, a severed horse set alone. in his hotel bed. <laughs> Don't send a message. Leave the man alone. <laughs> yeah, leave him alone. No, Don't be a dick. Uh, I mean, well, okay. Yeah, just Don't, Don't do anything. Don't but, do anything crazy. We're not advocating harassing him. Yeah, no, all. no. We do I am against that. IRL harassment. But what would be a funny question? I think asking him what he thought of being on our podcast would actually be pretty <laughs> yeah. funny. No, actually, I'm pretty sure I was reading a uh, Reddit AMA that he did the other day, and someone asked him that, and I can't remember what the actual answer was that he gave. But he basically said that they were nice on the show, and he heard that we didn't like him anymore, but <laughs> he's okay with it. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was like the gist of it. <laughs> Well, I, I did enjoy the episode we did with him. It's just yeah, afterwards, I, I, things yeah, went yeah. very, very south. Yeah. Uh, look, Boogie, <laughs> well, is, he, he's, never done, he's never done anything to us. Let me oh, make yeah, that clear. Yeah, no, absolutely yeah. not. Uh, 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 again, do not harass him. Like, no. do not. We don't, not even as a haha. they said not to, and I did it anyway. We literally do yeah. not want you to do that. And we're not advocating it. We don't approve of that. I actually have a piece of advice for him. Not I, but um, let me mute the music again. What? A piece of advice for him because he's view? always you know he's upset by the online comments a lot that he gets on reddit especially as you guys know i've been supporting chris chan and as somebody somebody else uh commissioned chris chan and they asked hey chris chan i'm getting cyber bullied what's your advice and this was chris chan's advice and i think boogie should listen insight hmm. simply put just i would say ignore the trolls ignore all negative comments or mm -hmm. just outright don't read the comments <laughs> at all don't respond to the trolls okay just don't and then mm -hmm. also if you do end up reading negative criticism on yourself hey you can take a, a page from cosmic keyframe and just 
refocus that because they're anyway he goes on talking about how it's good for people to be talking about you but this blew my mind when i heard it chris chan of all the people in the fucking universe chris fucking chan has a better take on you know reading mean words on the internet than most people on the internet that blew my mind it's impressive. Boogie, just take a yeah. book out of uh, Chris, it's Chris's good book. It, it is it genuinely, is unironically very good advice. Just, you know, avoid it. Don't read it. And it's, ad it's advice, but it's advice that is constantly thrown at people like Boogie, yet they, they still... Just can't just, do it. Yeah, yeah, they can't. It's like an addiction. Yeah. It's like, um, uh, yeah. Oh, well, we don't hate you, Boogie. We have nothing no. against you. We don't I, I, wish you like, any harm. Um... The same way that we don't hate like Wings of Redemption and and, and um, what's the other one? DSP. The other Wings of Redemption. Yeah, DSP. <laughs> the other we don't Wings hate of them. Redemption. They're, just <laughs> 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 They're interesting to watch. Okay, um, They're fun to watch. I forget what the patron's name was. My apologies, but if you go there and you meet them, tell them the official podcast sends their regards. They don't hate you. Take care. Uh, try to keep losing weight. Go on your walks and stop reading the internet so much. Nice. That was a very wholesome thing to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Whisper Jackson sends his regards and shank him in the back <laughs> or something. <laughs> red, red wedding. It. Put rice Don't in actually, his Jesus. food. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> He's gonna Man. die like King Joffrey on the floor. It is a single tear of blood <laughs> from his nose. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. All right, already. we should wrap up. I yeah, gotta get wrap going. Up. Yep. Jackson. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for listening to us this week. Um, Patreon.com slash the official podcast if you want to support us and ask us questions like those lovely people just did. And you can listen to us live as well uh, if you're a patron. And you've got bonus episodes if you're a patron. So head on over to Patreon.com slash the official podcast and join us for $5 a month. We appreciate everyone who supports us. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Also, a quick note before we go. Uh, God Slap, the thing Charlie and I have made, is uh, still on sale and will be on sale until the 5th of August. So if you don't have God Slap yet, go check it out, godslapbook.com. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.